back to my channel my name is Tommy Sin. if you are seeing my face for the very first time my name is Tommy Sin and welcome to my channel welcome to my space i talk about my lifestyle i talk about my reality motherhood business and just my reality and my lifestyle yeah thank you for stopping by and to all my new subscribers thank you for subscribing i trust that you will love it here and to all my old subscribers thank you for always coming back to see my videos thank you so much i really really appreciate you guys thank you so much and to those of you that are seeing my face for the very first time please hit the subscribe button if you like the kind of content i put out here please hit the subscribe button trust me i'm sure you will love it here so today i'm talking about something something different so without wasting much of our time we we'll just go into it so the question is what do you feed yourself on social media honestly we know on the social media space there are a lot a lot and a lot of things a lot of things we have tiktok we have instagram we have youtube and so many things are happening on social media we have celebrities that some people look up to we have people that they will say oh, this person inspired me this i want to be like this person i want to be like this person i want to be like but what do you really feed your soul to do you block some people on social media do you mute some people even on whatsapp maybe they are status probably you don't like what they post do you mute some people do you block some people do you unfollow maybe some people that you feel like oh i don't like the kind of content that this person is putting out here do you really really filter your social media accounts honestly these are things that i see that people don't really talk about but we have to really talk about it a lot is happening and a lot is really really happening honestly we just have to be careful with what we feed ourselves what we feed our souls on on all of this social media space me for an example see there was a time that i followed a lot and a lot and a lot of people yes different kind of people one day something occurred and and i'm just like what am i getting from this person sometimes i post popping <coughs> sorry about that i post popping and I don't really like what the person posts and i'm like i ah, will be the person see this kind of thing or post this kind of thing and i will feel bad at that moment that ah, this person this thing that this person posts is not right and it's not too good now why can you say such, such a thing how can you reason like this that was that one day i just filter my social media speech. like i really filtered my instagram like the people i'm following i have to unfollow so many people if you are not the type that you post something that i feel okay this thing is useful to me i'm getting one or two things this thing empire inspires me i will not follow i only follow people that i learn from i make sure this person i learn from there are some that is basically for entertainment probably comedy yes they make me laugh i love their skits i love their comedy that's fine but there's some people that just be like what's what's the what's the cocoa like what's the essence honestly we really need to put this into consideration same with whatsapp there are some people on whatsapp that i just finished their status some people that all they post is about them um is he 18 people or maybe they are always this kind of person that they think oh somebody is after them like i don't really know how i want to put it like everything they talk about is usually about fights like they are usually using their status to talk to people there are some people that they post neutrally you just see a nice post and you post there are people that oh what they put you be like why is that is every time that you are always angry is every time that you are always posting i'm above you i'm i'm on top of you i'm shaking oh you know all of those kinds of things and i'll just meet this person why is this person so childish i'll just meet this person i beg i don't really like this person status and some people status is always about competition their friend posts this they are already looking for a post to counter the person's post to. Why? Life is not supposed to be like that. Life is not supposed to be hard. Like social media is meant to be a space where we all come and, you know, have fun, learn and all of that. Same thing with TikTok. All these apps, don't get me wrong, I learn so much from them. But what I'm just saying in essence is just that sometimes we need to feel tight. Like there's some people that we follow and we need to say, no, let me just unblock this person. Let me just block this person. And there's some people that will see their content. For me, I really, really do love Christian content. So, any Christian content, anyone I am gaining from, trust me, instantly I follow and I'm always happy about it. We really have to be careful of what we feed our souls with on this social media space. Honestly, we really, really need to be careful. We really need to be careful. It's not everything that we just follow and we just be looking at. 
sometimes I, I, I've, I've talked to a friend and he said, this particular person that posts, like she said a particular thing and throughout that day, it's really, really spoiled her mood, honestly. And I asked her that, what did you now do after you saw the post? And she said, she didn't do anything. Said, that is where you get it wrong. Somebody posted so it, it's tough and you were like, okay, this thing really, really made you feel very bad. You're supposed to block that kind of person. Like, you don't want to see the person's post again because the person's post is not feeding your soul. Like, it's not, you don't like it. Sometimes all these are, but that is why they give us the block button. There is block, there is mute, there is all those kind of a thing. So that you know you don't want this. You can even tell Instagram that I don't want any content from this particular person again. Instagram will not bring you that kind of content again. So that is just it. So honestly, we need to really, really be careful. Even when it comes to movies, you watch movies that there are some that is comedy, there are some that, oh, you'll be like, what am I even getting from this thing? What are we even learning? What are they teaching us? Same way we filter what our kids are seeing. We filter what our kids are seeing on YouTube, their phone, their tablets, everything. Even on TV, on, on um, um, DSTV, there is parental um, guide control. So, you know, those kind of things. Same way I feel as an adult, we really, really need to put all these things into consideration. Please feed your soul, your, feed your soul with things that will make you grow, things that will inspire you. As a Christian, particularly, Christ, things that will, you know, increase your faith. It's not even only about Christian, any religion. Things that will increase your faith. We just really, really have to be careful. See, a lot is happening nowadays and a lot is really, really happening on this social media space. Funny enough, it can make somebody an scam. Do you, have you noticed, you see somebody that will say, okay, the friend posted the picture, probably wearing or living this big um, person's life. You get a kind of, of a thing. And she was like oh i have to do the same thing i have to do the same thing and she went at every length to get the money probably do all sorts of things just to look like that person and maybe the other person is even living a fake life you don't know maybe this boropos you get all those kind of things so we really need to put all these things into on, into consideration i just thought to talk about it just to tell someone probably you don't know or probably you know or probably you know or you've not even put this into consideration please same way we do filter the things that our kids see, same way we should filter our social media space too. Please feed your soul with something that is profitable. Open your Instagram page and you'll be happy. Open your TikTok page and you'll see things that will inspire you. Your WhatsApp and you'll see things that you'll be happy about. I have someone that says she doesn't follow anything like gossip um, account or so, all those kinds of things. Yes, that's because she felt okay fine i don't really see any gain and for some people they will say they see gain so it's just a two-way thing i just think instead of you know dropping comments on another person's post keypad warriors like they usually say like dropping the comment and all of that if you're not satisfied please just block the person unfollow the person mute the person that's just it so some people will start fighting in the comments and start saying that's not what you're supposed to do it see it's your phone is their life they are adults if they are not adults they will not have all this app so definitely they are grown and they can do whatever they like so you're the one that will know that okay this person what this person is posting i don't like it what this person is doing i'm not getting anything from it then my dear unfollow because sometimes i look at those keypad warriors and i just laugh like i would just sit down and just drop this kind of comment on this person's page it's their page and i'm very sure they have people close to them they have a lot of people close to them that can talk to them. So, you from nowhere, that nobody know you. I don't, I don't want to say nobody know you. At least you, you have a family member too. But what I'm trying to say that, at least you did not know this person. You did not know this person personally. So, please. And the person did not know you. Instead of dropping negative comments, just use the buttons. Unblock, unblock, mute, and delete. So, my own is just that you just have to filter what you see on social media space please filter it feed your souls with something that is profitable something that you will see and you'll be happy something that you see and you'll be inspired don't feed your soul with something that you will see and you'll feel bad like that my friend i said she felt bad i'm like what did you do nothing and to me i felt she's supposed to have you know is that you build the person if it's the status if it's an account you unfollow the person you just block the person oh and this person's content I don't really like it. And everything should not be about joke. Honestly. 
that's just it so that's just what i want to talk about today it's nothing much i hope this encourage someone and i hope you learn one or two things from what i have said if you have anything that you want to add to everything i've said please add it in the comment section let us learn from you so that will be all for now please hit the subscribe button comment like and share that will be all for now bye see you guys later thank you